Robotics will change the world. It will have at least the same impact in the next half a century than the Internet had in the last 50 years. The evolution of robotics will follow four steps, the so-called four robotic revolutions. The first already happened. This was robot-based automation, something that we have been doing for more than 40 years. How to glue and weld and bolt together a car as fast as possible. The second one is happening right now. This is safe and sensitive robot-based automation. So direct human-machine collaboration, machines that I can touch, that I can interact with. So more or less, let's say, we uncaged the robot. The third revolution will be when those systems become mobile, because then the robot will get to the workpiece and not the workpiece to the robot. And those robots will move freely in our working environment. And the fourth revolution, that will be when artificial intelligence is ready. So intelligent, perceptive and cognitive robots. So more or less like Jetson's Rosie, the robot housekeeper. We have a very big chance though, because for the first time we see such a disruptive innovation coming up before it already happened. With the internet, it was different. The internet was just there one day. It took off, it exploded, and it had a massive impact on society on e and on economy. Now, with robotics, we can address all issues that might be arising before they happen. The kids of our kids, and I'm very convinced of that, will grow up as what I call robotic natives. So, like a generation R. It's like the kids today, they grow up with iPads and the internet, so our digital natives. The same will happen in robotics. Those robotic natives will grow up with automation technology everywhere. And this will be from vacuum cleaners to lawn mowers to maybe autonomous robotics at home, self-driving cars, or yeah, as I already said, maybe even Jetson's Rosie, the robot housekeeper that is helping me at home. So this generation R will not be afraid of robotics. They want to work with robots. Robots will be something very, very common in that future. But there might be some issues. So in order to pave the way for those robotic natives, we have to address them. And those issues might be socio-political, socio-economical. So it might be the question, how does work look tomorrow? Do I want to work with a robot? Will the robot be a tool or my colleague? In order to address these issues, we have to start discussing what I call robotic governance today. We have to spark this idea in the robotics community worldwide and get into an exchange. So we have to build up a common vision about legal frameworks, economic concepts and other questions. And we have the chance to do this today.